Hi, I'm Diane from Red Poppy Wigs and Cancer Care Products. I'm located in the Kansas City metro area on the Kansas side in Overland Park, Kansas. I have been working with wigs for over 50 years now and I'm happy to introduce another new style from Raquel Welch this fall. It's not part of the actual fall collection. It was just kind, it was released by itself, but it's fun. And for those of, of you who grew up in the era that I did in the late 60s, 70s, 80s, this, is a, this would be a really familiar style for you. Um, it's called Influencer Inspo. And I've already donned my nylon cap, albeit it's moving on me, so I am going to redo that. If you've watched any of my videos over the summer, you'll know that I had some hair loss issues. So in June, I shaved my head so that I could start over and see if I could get some hair back. And I've really kind of enjoyed having no hair and considering doing it again because it's pretty awesome. So again, this is the Influencer Inspo. The first color I'm going to show you is very similar to my natural color. A tiny bit lighter, but very similar. And that is in the RL 410 Shadow Shade, which is, gosh, I just never remember the names. Um, Shadow Shade Ice Java. So the Influencer Inspo has a center part with a little silicone band right at the hairline. And then the wefted features in the back have the silicone, which help it stay in place. It has a very long bang and it's a long style. All the information about that will be listed below the video. So please go there to get information. Also information on the size of my head, which runs a little on the large side. You'll notice that the circumference of my head is an, is an average. I mean, it's straight, right down average, but the other measurements put me in a large category. So it really depends on the wig. Um, I would never be one to order a wig off the internet because, well, just in general, all the wigs say may say average, but they'll all be different. And because I don't fit in a category, if maybe if I was on a smaller size head and I could do adjustments to it, I might consider that. But because my head is on the larger side, some wigs just don't fit me at all. Um, we'll see how these two are different because I have two different colors I want to show you. Same style, just different colors. So like I said, the bangs on this one are very long and the part is in the middle. Um, I can't see. I would most likely want to, well, these are kind of, these are sweepy. Look at my little mirror over here. Not bad, I, I think. I might, tr I might shorten them a little bit, just for me, just because of my, my desires and my face shape. So I can do that. I mean, I, I've been a cosmetologist over 40 years. I've been cutting ha human hair and styling wigs, like I said, over 50. So I can, I can absolutely do that. Um, that's not a bad, not a bad look, but just knowing me, that would probably make me crazy. Uh, I love this though. Um, just, it's so tight to the head and which is great. So many women that come into my shop after losing hair over a number of years, don't want a lot of hair. They're so used to not having very much that to put a wig on that's really full is just way too much hair for them. So this, because all the, even though it doesn't have the hand tied top, it doesn't have a lot of permatease. And since it's all one length, that just the heaviness of that helps it lay down flat and gives it a nice sleek look, which is awesome for those ladies who don't want a lot of hair. So like I said, it's pretty long. It's got layering 
oh, just pulled out my earring, down the side, and then it's got some good length in the back, probably long, probably longer than I've ever had my hair, actually, and then on the sides, again. Like I said, it's parted in the middle, so you could, in theory, although these bangs were made to swish off to one side, you could, in theory, if you just wanted to go straight up, kind of a 1970s look, part it down the middle and, you know, rock what would be for me like the ninth grade look. Um, yeah, but how about that? I mean, it's just so, so nice and sleek. I really like that. So, again, this one's really close to my natural color. I'll show you again. That's my hair. That's... You know, my hair's darker. But anyway, that's this this is my natural color. The next one is a lighter, a lighter shade of the same wig. Influencer Inspo. The next one has a sh the shadow shade, a totally the same construction. It's got the part down the middle with the silicone at the at the hairline and then the silicone on the wefting. And this color is uh, Shadow Shade Cappuccino, which was one of the new colors that came out a couple years ago. It's the RL1222 SS. So because it has the shadow shade, it's a little easier for me to wear lighter colors because my hair is so dark. And if any of it sticks out, I can kind of blend that a little bit better than if I just went straight up with a color. So this one too, we'll sweep off those bangs. It's a gorgeous color. Um, yeah, I like this. I like these bangs a little bit better. I mean, you know, every wig comes out of the box different, and so it's great if you've got. If you're working with someone who knows what they're doing, they can make it work for you. Uh, use their their expertise to trim it, um, cut it. I guess trim and cutting are the same thing, but take less off, take more off. Use whatever kind of heat products to make it work for you. Um, still love the sleekness of it. It's really soft. It feels like human hair. This one, the layers are a little bit more noticeable because of the color difference. Now, you could easily pull it back. Uh, again, I would, I would probably try to do something with these bangs. I, don't, I wouldn't do a straight across bang. I never have ever liked that. I mean, I've always, always, this is a long time, but I have usually do some other kind of little bang thing. But really pretty color. Love this one. It's a, it's a favorite for sure. So, again, just want to introduce you to this style. Influencer Inspo. In two different colors I showed today. The Ice Java, which is the 410 shadow shade. And this one is the Cappuccino shadow shade 1222. I would love it if you would like the video. Subscribe to my channel. I will continue. I had a little glip. Their little blip this summer and had a lot of family issues I needed to work on and take care of, but everything's good. So I will be back and showing you more styles and more different types of wigs. Um, my name is Diane. I own Red Poppy Wigs in the Kansas City metro area. I'm on the Kansas side and I've been a cosmetologist over 40 years. I've been working specifically with wigs for the last 13. All my contact information is below, as well as my head size, the name of the wig, the specifications of this wig. Please feel free to reach out to me in any of those ways that you see below, and I'll try to help you as the best that I can. I hope you have a great day, and thank you for joining me this afternoon.